Hey guys, happy Easter. I always forget to wish you all happy whatever holiday and I remembered this time. So happy Easter. I hope you're having a blessed day. Um, welcome back to Ganji Plans. My name's Rebecca. I'm the creator of Ganji Plans Printables at ganjiplans.com shop. And every month, the first Sunday of every month, I make a video going over the inserts that I created and released the previous month just to give you an idea of how I use them, give you some ideas how you might use them and find them helpful in your own planning system. So today's video, I'm going over all the inserts released in March 2021. So first off, I'm showing all of these inserts only in the pocket size. Um, every size has some variation because some sizes are bigger. I'm able to fit more rows or whatever. Um, so just keep that in mind. You can see previews of every size on the shop listing. Um, but we'll start here with insert number 31. This is a Gantt chart. It's the first insert in my shop that has a different format. Um, you can see the pocket here is horizontal instead of vertical. So tilt your head and you'll see uh, this is a tri-fold fold-out insert and so it can fold three ways. The half letter size is only one fold obviously but everything else is tri-fold I think. Um, and the pocket size here has 13 columns that works out to a quarter of a year so if you print this out on double-sided twice you would get the full year's worth of project planning. So the way that I envision using this is having um, like I said each of these columns being uh, one week of the year and then each row being for a different project or set of projects um, and then as you can look ahead to you know your coming time you can see okay well this week I really have to be working on that thing for work so this week here would be maybe a good one to start working on that thing at home blah 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 um, and that just kind of lets you see horizontally how busy your life is going to be. Insert 32. Uh, this one is actually a freebie. I don't know it's, if it's going to be for everybody. In fact, I know it's probably not going to be for everybody, but um, it's something that I wanted to make for myself and I thought it would be sort of a way to give back a little bit um, because this one, like I said, is free. It has to be because the examination of conscience here is taken from the USCCB website um, and they allow it to be reproduced without uh, charging for it. And I wouldn't want to anyway because this is just sort of a uh, little spiritual tool. So you have an examination of conscience based on the uh, Ten Commandments, front page here, back page here. The layout is different on the different sizes, um, but I kind of like the way it is on the pocket because you have one page that's the examination of conscience and then you get three versions of the confession or three copies of the confession worksheet. Um, so you can keep using this and then just print this one out when you need it. Um, so the confession worksheet has space for, you know, location, date, time, for you know where you're going to go to confession and then you have time since your last confession because I always forget that and I have to like figure it out then um, there's space here to do some journaling or just sort of a, a bullet list but you know I always find it goes smoother if you come prepared obviously and it's something you can do as you go through your examination of conscience and then there's space here to write down what your penance was make sure you don't forget it especially if it's something you can't do inside the church um, on the other side of the confession worksheet is the act of contrition, because you don't want to forget that, and then the prayer to the Holy Spirit, which I find to be a very useful prayer at the beginning of your examination of conscience. So obviously this is designed for Catholics, uh, but anybody obviously can use it, especially the examination of conscience portion. I think it's a good practice for anybody, especially Christians, to um, you know examine their life according to the Bible. So there you go. Next one, insert 33. I'm pretty excited about. You will have seen this in my April Plan With Me video if you're subscribed. If you're not, there's a button below. Uh, so this is a grid monthly. And I really like the way it turned out. It feels very on brand. Um, I feel like I'm hitting my stride with the design with this one. So uh, you've got grid space for your whole month and it's a little bit stylized. I kind of like that. Uh, it's undated, like I said, you can fit any month in here without having to double up squares. There's not a lot of room in each individual square for like writing stuff, but you could probably put some notation if you want to, or maybe some symbols. Um, the space on the right here, I sort of, in my mind, envision being for, um, week specific tasks, things that you want to get done in that specific week, but you could also use that for events. Um, then there's space here for a general to-do list and space over here for events. You can swap that, no problem. Um, and then you notice that there's five uh, days on the left. So this is ideally like it designed in theory to be a Monday start. I don't usually do a Monday start myself, but I kind of like the idea of having these two columns for Saturday, Sunday on a separate page. Um, I guess that's, yeah, like I said, that's part of my brand now, I guess. Uh, but there's nothing saying that you have to have it as a Monday start. It's just, you know, it's still seven days. 
Um, this here, uh, these are supposed to be for like a project with next action items, the same as my weekly with daily faux Dutch door uh, insert from last month. And then this little box here is just for decoration. Um, on the pocket size, it is the size it is, but on larger sizes, every other size, it's uh, the size of an Erin Condren sticker. So you can use that for some specific decoration if you want to. Insert 34 listed uh, under the dailies category on the site, um, but it's actually for two days, as you notice, Saturday and Sunday. So we're calling this a weekend daily spread. Uh, there's room for obviously the date here, so it's undated, um, and then room for sort of a focus for the day, maybe a highlight of something that's going on. You know, if there's something specific somewhere you're going that's like taking up most of the day or whatever. Um, or you could use it to say like, on Saturday, we're going to work in the garden. On Sunday, we're going to work uh, on cleaning the house or whatever. Then there's the to-do list for the entire weekend. I often will think of my weekend as one unit when it comes to to-do lists. So you have your top three and then a general to-do list. Hopefully enough space to get as granular as helps you. Space here for events, just as a list format, uh, instead of having to take up all of that room with like an hour uh, time ladder or whatever. There's two columns here, so you can use that either use that for like day and time or just like a long time all the way across AM, PM, blah, blah, blah. And then over here in the corner is space to plan out your next week. I often will find when I'm working on my weekend tasks that I will start to plan ahead for the next week a lot. And it, this way, instead of flipping ahead to the next page, you can stay on the same page and sort of mentally stay on the day you're on instead of, you know, living in the next week and not getting anything done for your weekend, if that makes sense. So that's the idea there. Uh, this row is just for decoration or fun and sort of to break it up visually. Um, I like how this turned out and I hope you do too. Then finally, insert number 35 is a grade calculator. I got uh, some suggestions, some recommendations to do some academic style inserts. And so this one is uh, designed to be like at the beginning of the semester where you go through your syllabus and you uh, look at all of the different, you know, this test is worth this percent of your grade, this quiz is worth this percent. Um, so you can put the assignment, the due date, then what percentage of the grade it is. When you get your score, you put it here, and then multiply them together to get your final um, contribution towards your end grade, and then total it up at the bottom. Uh, so this helps you keep in track of where you are uh, in each individual class, and you would print out like one of these sheets per class uh, to be able to keep track of all of that. So that's everything. Links for all of those inserts are in the description down below. Leave a comment which, which one you think is the most interesting and the one you're most interested in trying. While you're here, why don't you consider subscribing? I post videos twice a week about planner content as well as other lifestyle topics and anything that comes to mind, but I will see you in the next video on Thursday. Bye!